One of the most enjoyable things about spring turkey hunting is listening to the sounds of a big old tom turkey gobbling his head off and calling back and forth with the hens. What's even more exciting is being able to use your turkey calling skills to talk to the birds and lure in a crafty gobbler. Spring turkey hunting is indeed a very interactive style of hunting. Most of the time, that is. However, that's not always the case. On windy, rainy days are just those days that the birds aren't too terribly excited about anything. They sometimes don't hardly make a peep, which can make your hunt difficult and a bit boring. In this video, I'll share with you some ideas for hunting on windy, rainy days or simply going after those wise old silent gobblers in general. High winds or heavy rain can make it very difficult to hear the vocalizations of wild turkey and also difficult for the birds to hear your calling. On those kinds of days, the birds tend to go quiet, which again can make it difficult and not so exciting to hunt them. There are some strategies, however, that can still make your time in the turkey woods successful. Here's a few suggestions to consider which I hope will help. To begin, on those nasty, windy, rainy days, focus your efforts on prime locations where you know that birds are most likely hanging around. Now if you've done your preseason scouting or you simply know from past hunts where the birds are most likely going to be present, such as preferred roosting, feeding, and strutting areas, then focus your efforts on those locations. Even more so, try to focus on fairly open areas, as turkeys typically don't like to be in the thick woods on windy, rainy, nasty days. Along with being more appealing to the birds on such days, setting up in those more open areas will also be beneficial for you, as you'll be using your eyes much more than your ears when hunting silent gobblers. But more about that in a moment. Now if you're hunting a totally new area and haven't had the chance to do any pre-hunt scouting, your best bet might be to first look at a topographical map of your area and try to pick out a few potentially good spots to hunt, such as open areas next to thick woods or possible roosting areas. Now even on windy, rainy days, I'd still recommend going out before first light and listening for gobbles to get you at least started in the right direction. In my almost 30 years of turkey hunting, I found that many toms will let out at least a few gobbles while on roost as the sun is coming up, but they'll often go silent as soon as they fly down. So if you can hear at least a couple gobbles and get close to that area, then you know for certain that you have at least one bird to hunt. So find a somewhat open area in the vicinity of that bird and stay put. If you start your hunt close to where the bird has roosted, chances are good that he'll be in the general area throughout the morning, or that he'll come back to that area late morning, early afternoon, or in the evening before roosting again. Again, it can be hard to hear the birds on windy, rainy days. It can be hard for them to hear you, and they might just go quiet in such situations. However, that's no reason not to use your turkey calling skills. You simply need to adapt to the situation, which means using calls with high volume and high frequency, such as a loud, high-pitched box call or slate call. For slate-style calls, I recommend having a few different strikers made of hardwood or even carbon fiber, which can really cut through the wind and the noise. Also, when you call, try to do so in sync with what the weather is doing, such as performing your calling sequences in between wind gusts or when the rain dies down a bit. When gobblers aren't gobbling, or you just can't hear them too well due to the wind and the rain, you're going to have to hunt more with your eyes and pay attention to those non-vocalization sounds of turkey. And that means you're going to have to be hyper alert. So pay attention and don't fall into the trap of getting distracted, daydreaming, or doing things like fiddling with your phone. Silent gobblers will show up when and where you least expect it, so stay on red alert. As an example of all this, 
The big old 25 pound six bearded gobbler I harvested this spring didn't make a peep all morning while hunting him on a windy day, except for a few faint gobbles at first light before he flew off the roost. I stayed put in the general area, called in between the wind gusts, and around 10 a.m. I heard some barely distinguishable two-legged footsteps coming through the woods that I knew for certain wasn't a deer or a squirrel. I saw just a few flashes of white from the tom's head moving through the brush as he closed in, so I got in position, gave a few more coaxing calls with my diaphragm call to bring him in just a little further, and that was it. I went home with a beautiful turkey on a day that I didn't see or hear any other birds whatsoever, except for those few faint tree gobbles. So try out some of these ideas and tactics on your next windy, rainy day turkey hunt, and good luck! If you'd like to see more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to this channel, and check out the 3 Minutes Outdoors website at 3minutesoutdoors.com.